What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to be taking a look at the exotic Porsche rifle, the bad juju, now this is a weapon a lot of you guys have wanted to see me review so I decided to do it for you guys, now this is a weapon you can only obtain for completing the exotic bounty, the Tolan's Legacy, now getting into this weapon's mods uh, now we all know it's a fully automatic push rifle, we have smooth ballistics, we have soft ballistics and we have smart drift control. I go with smooth ballistics. We then have hip fire, this weapon has bonus accuracy when firing from the hip. We also have one of five damage upgrades, we then have armor piercing rounds, send it and perfect balance. I go with perfect balance as it basically almost maxes out that fucking stability. Now you can apply smart drift control as well but it just takes down a little bit of the range. I think I go with smooth ballistics and perfect balance and stability is easily controllable. We then have string of curses. After each kill this weapon will reload instantly and increase damage for a short time. Kills will help charge your super. Now after each kill with this weapon you're basically your, your clip will reset meaning it will just reset back to 24 you don't have to reload whatsoever after you get a kill like that's what it means by saying the reload will be instant now we have a further four damage upgrades too now getting into its stats now this weapon will shoot eight bullets per second meaning it shoots 480 rounds per minute you will empty its entire clip in just over three seconds PvP damage is 18 to the body and 27 to the head. There's no increase with using the armor piercing round, so you just want to go with perfect balance. Damage gain by string of curses uh, it ranges from 18 to 21 to the body and 27 to 31 to the head. Damage per second is 144 to the body and 216 to the head. That is exactly the same damage per second as the Red Death, by the way. Maximum clip damage is 647. Now this weapon will reload in 2.10 seconds as standard. Now this weapon stability, now as you can see guys I'm just going to let rip now on screen with that perfect balance mod and you'll see it does actually still raise, it doesn't, it ain't significant, I mean you can hold it centre, like I'll demonstrate for you guys now on screen, it's pretty easy to hold centre, I mean without that perfect balance mod it does shoot all over the place as you guys can see me demonstrating on screen now, but it is, it isn't easy really easy to hold center but you can actually hold it center if you get used to the way this weapon actually recoils but still in my opinion i'd still go with that perfect balance mod as the armor piercing round does absolutely nothing to increase your damage in pvp even though it does increase the impact slightly i'd go with perfect balance i really would now for pvp you guys are seeing background footage now of me actually using some pvp and I actually really liked it, I really enjoyed it, I mean I'm not going to lie to you guys, I actually enjoyed using it more than a Red Death. I'm not saying it is a better PvP weapon than a Red Death, I wouldn't go that far, but in my opinion I do like fully auto pulse rifles, I really do. And with that string of curses mod, it raises damage after a kill, it resets your ammo clip so you don't have to reload whatsoever, you can just keep spraying and spraying. I do really like this weapon for PvP. I would say as well it's probably my top 6 or 7 weapons in the game, I wouldn't put it top 5 like I would Red Death. But it is a great, great push rifle. And don't get it twisted, guys. Me saying I like this more than the Red Death doesn't mean it's actually a better PvP weapon than the Red Death. I mean, I can wreck people a lot more with the Red Death than I can with this. I mean, I just adjust my playstyle. I will go close up in people's faces with the bad juju. With the Red Death, I sort of take a step back and pick people off. But all in all, the Bad Juju is a monster of a pulse rifle for PvP, one I can guarantee you guys will enjoy. And now they applied that 9.7% uh, damage buff across all pulse rifles, it's definitely up there with the best weapons in the game, it really is. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you guys have this weapon, let me know your opinion down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by, enjoy this little PvP footage in the background, and peace out until next time. Peace! available.